Hey, what's up UFC Fight fans? It's your boy Jay Singh and I'm just here to make my predictions for Makachev versus uh, Dos Anjos. It takes place UFC Fight Night November 14. It's going to be a great fight, a potential five round fight. And, uh, you know, both these guys, Islam and RDA, you know, they got mixed wins by knockout and submissions. Very tough fighters and uh, skill wise, you know, it's a very even matchup. You know, I feel like, you know, Islam, he is younger. He's only 29. RDA, he, you know, he's 36. And, uh, you know, RDA, he's had so many wars. You know, this guy is like a legend fighter. You know, he fights out of Brazil. And when I say a legend, I'm going to compare him to, you know, Vandalay Silva, to Shogun. You know, this guy is a, is a legend in Brazil. And, uh, you know, his fighting style is uh, very nasty. You know, this guy wants to try to knock you out. You know, he doesn't mind getting into a slugfest. He's excellent on the ground, amazing jiu-jitsu skills, and uh, really, you know, the only thing that can slow him down is just the wars that he's been in, and, uh, you know, for 36, you know, he's had a lot of fights, a lot of wars. Islam, on the other hand, you know, he's uh, he's got a great record. He's 18-1, and one, and, you know, I feel like everything that RDA does, Islam, he can do. It's just that, you know, he's going to be younger, and he hasn't had so many wars. You know, he's, he's the fresher fighter. Damage-wise, he hasn't taken a lot of damage. He's very... Um, He's solid. He's got a he's got a great chin. He got beat once, but still, you know that eighteen and one record. It is very impressive, and uh, I just think it's gonna be one of those fights where you know they're gonna kickbox. They're gonna strike it out. I feel like you know Makachev. He's gonna have the advantage. He's gonna have the edge in speed and precision, and uh, ultimately he's gonna be able to uh, beat RDA. Not in round one, but uh, probably in like round three, or even like uh, round four. You know, I see him getting a late round uh, finish. And uh, he'll probably he'll probably win by like you know TKO, and uh, if somehow you know RDA goes to war with him and it goes five rounds, which we've seen in the past, you know RDA he's had many uh, five round fights. I still got uh, Makachev winning by uh, points. You know I feel like he'll win majority of the rounds. RDA you know he is a warrior, so he can still win a couple. But uh, ultimately I think Makachev you know he's just gonna utilize his kickboxing skills. He's gonna strike it out and he'll catch RDA in rounds two or three. So I'm gonna say Makachev wins by uh, knockout or by points if it does go five rounds. And again, respect to RDA, you know, he's a beast of a fighter and uh, you know, he always puts on a show. Every time he fights, you have to watch. Doesn't matter if he's headlining a fight night event or a pay-per-view, you know, every time he's there, you gotta watch him. You know, he's ex-champion, he beat Anthony Pettis to win the lightweight title, I believe. And, uh, you know, he even finished uh, Donald Cerrone in devastating fashion. So, um, you know, respect to RDA. You know, this guy comes to fight. And uh, so does uh, Mekachev. And uh, Mekachev is the the next big guy in uh, Khabib's training camp, I think. I think that uh, with Khabib gone, they want uh, Mekachev to be, you know, the lightweight champion. And uh, right now, he's on that path to success, to get the belt. So uh, we actually might see uh, Khabib in Makachev's uh, corner. I'm not sure, but uh, I know that uh, he is Khabib's uh, training partner, and uh, I believe they are good friends. So uh, Makachev should win. Let me know what you guys think, and I will get I will get back to you soon. Take care. Peace out.